Yes, that's seven. There you go. And ten. Okay. Three bucks, all right. I appreciate it. Yes, sir, thank you. I bought a hammer last night. I thought we had a big hand. Awesome. Um, I got to know the steel, so when I get time to do that, I'll get them and I'll let you know. I'll call you. Okay. Okay, folks, here we are at the recap. I promise you no video games are going to be set on fire uh, during this recap. <laughs> I caught a lot of heat off of that last video. And the reason that I did that was because every single one of those games was scratched and damaged beyond repair. And putting them in a disc resurfacer would not have been worth it in my opinion putting them on ebay and and tossing uh, all of that you know scratched up just junk onto someone else would not have been worth it in my opinion yes a lot of those cases could have been salvaged i could have kept uh, i could have kept them i could have resold them i could have used them for whatever reason but it is a new yard sale season there's going to be a lot of video games picked up this year and you know, I just wanted to clean out some space. I do apologize if I upset a lot of y'all. To me, it was all done in good fun. But I understand where a lot of y'all are coming from as far as, you know, the the love that you have for every single video game, even if it is damaged. I do understand all of that. But to me, it was not worth my time putting on eBay to resell. And I just did not want to put all of those scratched up and beyond repair damaged games into the hands of anyone else. So I just got rid of them. All right, so here we go. Uh, I have not got a lot of pickups lately, but I have found some stuff. Uh, we got Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault, Ratchet and Clank uh, Into the Nexus and Saw. I picked up all three of these uh, for less than $10. I needed all three of these for the collection. They were all complete. The Ratchet and Clanks were marked at $4. And for some reason at the pawn shop, Saw was marked at $2. So, fantastic score there. Um, I also found three Pokemon games. Pokemon Ruby. This is Pokemon Fire Red. It is authentic, uh, but the, the label is missing. And then I also had Pokemon Leaf Green. And uh, Leaf Green is already sold. Um, I pick up this movie very often. Uh, this is about the third or fourth time that I've picked it up, but I pick up this movie when it's in the still book. The reason being is pre-owned, this movie in the still book um, sells anywhere between $16 to $20. And every time I pick it up at the pawn shop, it's 
you know, marked at two dollars. I get 10% off. That's a dollar eighty. It's an excellent flip. It sells very well. So if you ever come across the still book edition of DOS Boot on Blu-ray, pick that up. Found Parasite Eve. All right, so this was actually a novel that was turned into a video game, and then a movie was made based off of the video game as well. This movie was very well done. I actually just got through watching it, and I was very impressed. Yes, it is all in Japanese, and so you have to read English subtitles. That did not bother me a bit. Uh, now, this game, I have never played. I've never found it in the wild. Um, but now I'm highly intrigued, if I ever do find it, to play it. Because if it's anything like this movie, this movie was freaking awesome. And um, very, very, very good story. I did find a Kingdom Hearts uh, figure at a uh, yard sale for 3 bucks. There was a $9.99 sticker on it. But I asked the guy how much he wanted for it. He said $3. $3. Couldn't pass that up. I still have yet to pick up Kingdom Hearts 3 and play it. Um, but when I find it for much cheaper um, than what it's selling for, then I will pick it up. Then I found a couple of Super Nintendo games. I don't, I'm not really sure why I picked up Mortal Kombat 2. I've already got Mortal Kombat 2, but I figured it would be a good bundler game. And she only wanted four bucks for it, so why not? I did not have Mortal Kombat 3 on the Super Nintendo, so that is going into the collection. She wanted four dollars a piece for these, so they were 16 bucks. Um, Super Mario All Stars will get majority of my money back, but then I also found Street Fighter Alpha 2. Now this is a 35 to 40 dollar game, depending on condition. Uh, dollar game so this will more than make my money back on the $16 spent and um, Super Mario All-Stars will be just a little bit of extra profit uh, I did sell the NBA 2k19 on the ps4 I found it at the pawn shop they had it listed for 10 bucks I got it for nine with my 10% off and I sold it for $29 so made a little extra money there and um, I have no interest in sports games, but if I can find an easy flip like that, then by all means, I'm going to pick it up and flip it. All right, folks, there you have it. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the bell icon, and when you do, you're going to receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Here in the next uh, couple of weeks, and in, in the next week and a half, two weeks, We've got the 200 mile long yard sale that takes place in Georgia called Peaches to the Beaches. It extends from Perry, Georgia, all the way down to the Golden Isles around Brunswick, St. Simons Island, Georgia, all along a huge stretch of highway called Highway 341. I filmed last year, found a bunch of awesome stuff. So in the next week and a half, two weeks, um, that'll be taking place again. It'll be March... The weekend of March 8th and 9th. And uh, so, yeah, about a week and a half is coming up. So I hope to find some very excellent stuff this year like I did last year. But, folks, once again, I hope you've enjoyed the content. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.